I'm Charles Bankhead of MedPage Today, reporting from the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium. High-dose vitamin D supplementation significantly reduced musculoskeletal pain associated with use of aromatase inhibitors to treat breast cancer, according to a small randomized study reported at the symposium. Dr. Antonella Rastelli of Washington University in St. Louis explained how the study came about. So the patients that develop uh, the arthralgia syndrome on uh, uh, aromatase inhibitors uh, have uh, uh, symptoms that are very similar to fibromyalgia or uh, osteomalacia. And osteomalacia is a condition caused by low vitamin D. And it's treated uh, with vitamin D. Uh, patients may have almost miraculous uh, um, resolution of pain with just a few doses of high vitamin D level, I mean, uh, supplementation. And uh, so that was uh, the rationale. When you interview these patients and ask about their pain, it really sounds similar to what uh, the bone physician uh, in bone metabolism uh, here in patients that have osteomalacia. And um, uh, anecdotally, we started to treat patients uh, with uh, pain and with high vitamin D supplementation and noticed that some patients had complete resolution of their symptoms. Uh, but we didn't know was this a placebo effect uh, or was this truly caused uh, by vitamin D. And so that was the rationale to uh, use uh, vitamin D and design a double-blind placebo-controlled trial to see if this was truly an effect or a placebo effect. The anecdotal observations led to a 60-patient randomized placebo-controlled clinical trial. So we chose only patients that developed joint pains after going on anastrozole and uh, um, we put them all on uh, calcium and vitamin D supplementation, the standard dose, so it was a thousand milligrams of calcium and 400 units of vitamin D daily. All of them received it, the active treatment and the placebo group, and then the active treatment received a high vitamin D2, which is ergocalciferol, 50,000 units once a week for eight weeks or 16 weeks, according to their baseline vitamin D level. And these were marginal levels levels of vitamin D, not uh, above 30 nanograms per ml, or a matching placebo in the placebo group. At two months, when the active treatment group was receiving vitamin D on a weekly basis, a high dose had a significant decrease in pain compared to the placebo. Um, at that point, uh, the majority of the patients, even the active group, were switched to the monthly dose of vitamin D for the rest of the study. and. Uh, uh, the effect was lost. Loss of bone mineral density is another possible consequence of endocrine therapy for breast cancer. The study also provided encouraging results for that outcome. Uh, the other thing we checked also is bone densities uh, because uh, vitamin D and uh, bone health go hand in hand. And after si so we measured the bone density at baseline and at six months. And uh, at the femoral neck, uh, we saw that there was a trend uh, for uh, may, uh, improved the bone density of the femoral neck in uh, patients who receive the uh, high dose vitamin D. About 20 percent of patients on high dose vitamin D developed hypercalciuria, which could lead to kidney stones. Rostelli said the finding indicates that patients receiving high dose supplementation should be monitored for excessive calcium excretion. From the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium, I'm Charles Bankhead, MedPage Today.